Today I want to talk about six stages after breakup. First stage to any breakup is the grieving and depression phase. This is the stage where you cry a lot. You think about all the things that went wrong. You think about all the things that you could have done better. You think about why you weren't good enough. Why the person left you. And during this stage, you really don't want to do anything besides cuddle up in bed, watch some Netflix, watch some K-dramas, watch some anime, and just order a shit ton of food. This is the stage where you feel like your whole world is gone. It might sound a little overdramatic, but it really does feel like that, doesn't it? All that time you spent talking to that one person, and they're not there anymore, so you have so much free time, you don't know what to do with it. You're so used to texting that person whenever something good happens to you. Whenever you get good news, you just text that person, but they're not there anymore, so what do you do? And every single time that happens, it just stabs you in the heart. The next phase is something I wanna call the fake confidence phase. This is the phase where you're just like, I don't care if they left me, that's their loss. I'm gonna do me better than they're doing them. They gonna leave me? They gonna leave me? All this? All this? And you hype yourself up and you're like, yeah, like I have so much free time now. Like, like this is a good thing. Like I could be more productive. I could do whatever I want now. Like I don't need them in my life. I'm gonna get so many things accomplished. And then one day later, you hear a doorbell. And you go to see who it is, so you open the door. And there it is, reality. Smacks you in the face. And then you just slowly seep back into a depression and grieving stage. So right now you start off at the depression and grieving stage. Then you go to the fake confidence phase. And then you go back into the grieving stage because these two stages these two stages don't really give you like a step forward in progressing these two stages bring me to my third stage the third stage is the reckless stage you see when you go back into the depression stage after having the fake confidence you start going crazy you start going mad you start getting angry you start thinking that you want revenge and this is why this is called the reckless stage and it's the most dangerous stage because you do things based on emotion you do things on impulse you want to get revenge you're angry at the person this is a stage where you think that if you go out and get a rebound you'll be better off you think that if you go out and get a rebound it'll make you stop thinking about that person this is the stage where you think it's a good idea to go out and make a bunch of regrets this is the stage where you go out and go party 24 7 this is a stage where you go out and drink your ass off this is a stage where you just go out and hook up with anybody because you don't want to think about that person anymore you want it to stop this stage is very scary and very self-destructive the crazy thing about this stage is that it doesn't get you anywhere. If you're like me, you'll soon realize that after this stage, you go back to your depression and grieving stage. You realize that getting a rebound is not gonna help. You realize going out to party 24 seven and drinking and talking with your friends and hanging out with your friends every single day and night, it doesn't help when you get back home at like 12 o'clock or one o'clock or two o'clock because you're still gonna be alone. And during that time that you're awake, you're gonna be thinking about that person even more. Which brings me to my next phase motivational and realization phase the next stage is actually the first step towards you know getting better being okay after all the previous stages this is a stage where you realize that the person that you're with is gone you start to think about all the things that you can do to better yourself you start to think that you need to work on yourself you need to either work out get in better shape get a job you know do something that you really want to accomplish you motivate yourself all that time that you spent with that one person you're know, investing your time with that one person always texting that one person always talking always skyping and always hanging out with that person all that time use that time to focus in on whatever you want to accomplish you realize that either one you're worth it or two you will be worth it and the next phase is the hard part this is the phase that you actually have to put in work i call this phase the action phase this is the phase where you implement your motivations your motives what do you want to do in life what inspires you this is a hard stage because majority of people are lazy. People like to give up because it's easier, it's more comfortable, it's more safe. They're scared that if they go out and try anything new, that it might end up just like their relationship, as a failure. That's why this stage is the hardest part. That's why this stage is where you make it or break it. You either A, give up and go back to your depression stage and start all over, or B, you work your ass off and get your life back on track. This is the phase where you create a better life for yourself, where you create a better version of yourself. And if you could get past all these phases, you end up at the last phase. I call the last phase the I'm okay phase. This is the stage you realize that whatever it is that you accomplish, you know, through anger, through vengeance, through sadness, through love, through jealousy, through, you know, all those emotions that you have towards the other person, they won't care. Why won't they care? Because they're not with you. But you know what? The crazy thing is you look around and you see that you're okay. You see that you're doing better than before. Your life is going in a better direction because of all the things that you've done. 
because of all the things that you accomplished, you know, whether you got a great body now, whether you got a great job now, whether you accomplished whatever you want to accomplish, your life is in a better position than it was before. And you realize this, you realize that you don't need this person in your life. You realize that you stopped thinking about this person already. This is a stage where you look around and you smile and you take a deep breath and you finally say that I'm okay. I'm over that person. Like my life is better now. I can move on. And those are the six stages of after a breakup. Let me know in comments below what you think and if I should add any stages or if I missed any. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button and don't forget to like and share the video for me.